it takes all water from this world. It takes from the ocean. And then he dips as a parsha, like rainfall. No collection, nothing. So, if you have any collection, donate it. <laughs> donate it. Don't keep. Otherwise, like fire. <laughs> to donate to whom? Not to be shy. For the service of Hari Guru Vaishnava. Utilize it. And then, pigeon, I have learned something from pigeon. What? You. You don't know? You? Try to understand, and if you will understand and keep in your heart, you will never be unhappy. I see so many are unhappy because they don't, they don't, don't oh, take my teachings. Otherwise, they will be happy. We call sufferings ourselves. Don't call. <laughs> so, Datatriya Rishi, among all these Siksha Gurus, one of them is a pigeon. Once, a pigeon lived in the forest with his mate, and they were very much attached to each other. They had built a very beautiful nest. And it is said that the she pigeon, she was very coquettishly cajoling her husband whenever she wanted something from him. And because her husband didn't control his senses, naturally he would do everything she said. It is said that someone who has not controlled his senses naturally would be attached to the opposite sex. <coughs> Srila Gorgon Maharaj used to say, everyone in this world wants to enjoy the chakra pala, the round shaped fruit. I like your face, I like your breast, I like your buttocks. He would say like that. Everyone was not controlled their senses, is there. So those two lovey-dovey birds, they were <coughs> very much attached to each other. And naturally, in the course of time, then she experienced her first pregnancy and she laid so many eggs in the nest. And then, by the uh, grace of the Lord, then those nests turned into very beautiful little baby pigeons with their chirping very awkwardly. And the parents, naturally, like all parents, they fell completely in love with those little birds. And they forgot everything. And they were flying around, going you know, to find all kinds of food to bring to the birds. Now, one hunter, he had uh, noticed that, oh, there are so many bird droppings under that tree, so there must be a nest there. So he came and he found, oh, those little pigeons are there. So he spread his net and he caught all the pigeons. <laughs> When the both parents came, when the mother saw her pigeons, baby pigeon there, she was so attached, she could not tolerate it. And very foolishly, she tried to help them, and she also got caught. Now, the male pigeon, he was completely mesmerized you know, by the beauty of his wife and attachment to his children. So he started to lament, oh, by the will of providence, this has happened. I could not satisfy myself, he says, I could not satisfy myself. Meaning that no matter how much enjoyment one gets in this world, in the house or the ashram, there is no satiation, there is no satisfaction, no matter what. No. And this pigeon, he was a Paka Grihamedi, and therefore he had enjoyed his senses like anything, still he was not satisfied. No. Still he was not satisfied. And he was saying, oh, those beautiful children, they are like saintly persons. He was completely bewildered. No. Then, by the, they are now in the grip of death, and he was lamenting, what did I do? I did not perform pious activities. He was completely in a dream. And this is the fate of everyone in this world who is attached to the opposite set. 
Tesham Pramatonidam Pashana Pina Pashati. Those who are so attached to the body, an extension of the body, wife, children, house, everything. Then although they see, they do not see. Although they see the life is passing every day, still they do not realize that everything here will have an end. So it is said, Magaladarat Maja Vita Bandeshu, Sanguyadesya Bhagavad Priyeshuna. If we have, there shouldn't be any attachment to wives, children, money, bank accounts. If there should be any attachment, it should be to the Lord who is so dear to the devotees. One shakal patari was fed to the Pigeon was he male pigeon. So much attached to lady pigeon and to their children. So one day she and he pigeon went to forest to collect some grain or some food. And the in time hunter came. And what did he saw that there are some baby pigeons and he took them home. And he kept in his name. When they returned from forest, oh my children, so sea pigeon at once went there. And she was in the mate of and after that, he began, he lost his everything. Oh, my dear, this wife to her, she was very helping to me, favorable. She always obeyed me, always. So, without him, her, how can I pass my life? And so, I came. And hunter also. And what became? <coughs> he took them all. And he went to his house, which I'm very happy, very happy. And cooked them. And? <laughs> so, you should learn something from these all this. That is why I called and I am telling this eleven canto, though very hard, but so much learning is there. We should learn and teach. And also teach it to others also. Very powerful this. Who is telling? Krishna himself. Telling. This is a story of uh, Dattatriya and Jyadi. So you should think about this and be like this for your own maintenance. You should take something. <coughs> Don't keep it with you extra. Don't attach it with him. Then, now, any drama play? Oh, then. Hare Krishna, today Srila Gurudev has given some initiation. Now Srila Gurudev will announce your spiritual name. When you utter your name, please stand up and Gurudev will announce your spiritual name. And tomorrow is Annakut Maha Mahotsav. So whoever want to participate, want to cook something or want to collect something for Grida Govardhan, they can contact either Srimati Nilachal Didi or Srinanda Gopal Prabhu. And day after tomorrow will be fire sacrifice. Whoever taken initiation will attend fire sacrifice. Fire sacrifice will take place day after tomorrow, 9 a.m. Headed by Sri Pahad Damodar Maharaj. Hare Krishna, we will announce your names. Please be attentive. Stand up and Srila Gurudev will give you your new spiritual name. 
Kevin Warwick from Cleveland receiving Harinam initiation. Jason Hall from Lyndon, Utah, receiving Harinam. Jagadish Prabhu Ki. Courtney White from Utah, receiving Harinam. Charu Mukhi. Zygmunt Rononski from Chicago receiving Harina Radha Mohan Prabhu Ki Shama Devi Dasi from Hawaii receiving Diksha. Shama Dasi Ki Jai. Yamuna Prasad Das Prabhu receiving Diksha from Santa Barbara. Yamuna Prasad Prabhu Ki Jai. Receiving Gopal Mantra from Badger, Vishnu Priya Dasi. Receiving Diksha from the school, Badger School, Srivas <laughs> Receiving Harinam from California, El Charito, Luna Elizabeth Hernandez. <laughs> Receiving Harinam and Diksha from Montreal, Sachi Nandan Das Prabhu. Sachi Nandan Das Prabhu Ki. Yeah. Yes, receiving Harinam and Diksha. I'm doing now. Also from Montreal, Godavari Devi Dasi. Godavari Devi Ki. Yeah. Receiving Diksha, Ranganath Das Prabhu from LA Temple. <coughs> das Prabhu Ki. Ranganath, Ranganath Das Prabhu Ki. Receiving Gopal Mantra, Lalita Devi Dasi. Lalita Devi Dasi Ki. Receiving Harinam from Vienna State, Virginia. Paulito Lang Carpenter. Prem Lata Devi Ki. <laughs> Receiving Harinam from Los Angeles. Please stand up. Yeah. Narayan Das. Prem Narayan Das Prabhu Ki. <laughs> Son of Tamopa Prabhu. Haribo. Receiving Harinam Premananda Das Prabhu. Premananda Das Prabhu Ki. Receiving Harinam from Palma Valley, California. Nestor Manuel Pianango. Nandan. Nandan Prabhu Ki. Receiving Diksha, Charu Chandrika Devi Dasi. Charu Chandrika Dasi Ki. Receiving Harinam from San Bruno, California, Monty Sharma. Manmohan Prabhu Ki. Receiving Diksha from Sydney, Doya Nidhi Das Prabhu. Doya Nidhi Prabhu Ki. 
from San Jose receiving Harinam initiation, the son of Subal Sakaprabhu, Arjun. Arjun. <laughs> receiving Harinam from Badger, Joan Mauser. Jai Nandini Devi Ki Jai. Also from Badger, receiving Diksha, the husband of Jai Nandini, Divakar Das Prabhu. Divakar Das Prabhu Ki Jai. From the LA Temple, receiving Harinam, Richard Wagner. Raghunandan Prabhu Ki Receiving Diksha from Hawaii, Banumati Devi Dasi. Banumati Devi Ki. From LA Temple, receiving Diksha, Lalit Krishna Das Prabhu. Lalit Krishna Prabhu Ki. Hare Krishna. So, tonight we have uh, okay. Tonight we have a drama play coming up, but just before that we have a musical performance by Krishna Kanta Prabhu and some of the uh, school children. And Sh Sriman Budara Prabhu has just a few words to say in support of what they're doing and how you can help and giving you some information about what we're doing uh, for the school. And drama players, please be ready. And everyone, please, if you could help by scooting back just like the other night. Hare Krishna. For the pleasure of Srila Gurudev and for all of your happiness, Krishna Kanta Prabhu and the children from uh, the Braj Gurukula are going to treat you to a little taste of what is on the album, uh, which is available down at the desk, uh, the book table. Uh, it's just a, a little bit of taste of what is in there, and we hope that it inspires you to uh, go and get a copy of the book and to share that book with that book and that CD with others. Uh, I think you'll agree that on hearing it that you'll be very moved by the purity and the sincerity of all of the students. And we hope that you give them uh, your full attention. Thank you very much. I will enable the microphones for the drama as well. So can you...